Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough on how to set up an Electrum wallet, which is a software-based wallet for the Bitcoin cryptocurrency. So the reason I chose Electrum is because it is one of the highest rated Bitcoin wallets out there. And unlike the official software-based Bitcoin wallet, you don't have to download and synchronize the entire blockchain, uh, which if I recall correctly, is like a 40 gigabyte or more download. Uh, so there's numerous reasons why you'd want you know, something like Electrum, which you wouldn't have to synchronize that massive file, uh, whether that is you have a slower internet connection like a many uh, people do with a kind of standard DSL. It would take ages uh, to download and synchronize with the blockchain. Uh, you might have a cap data source, uh, so your ISP might have a cap on your limit and 40 gigabytes is a big hit into that cap, especially if you're already getting close to using that cap uh, up on a monthly basis. Or if you're just want to have a semi-mobile option and want to install this on a laptop, and maybe that laptop only has an SSD and you know 120 gigabytes or 250 gigabytes, uh, so you don't have a ton of extra spare space to dedicate to a big, huge 40 to 50 gigabyte download uh, for a Bitcoin wallet. So there's a lot of use cases on why you would want uh, something like Electrum over the official Bitcoin wallet. Otherwise, I would suggest the official uh, software-based wallet. Uh, and at the same time, why you would choose a software-based wallet rather than a, one of the alternatives uh, is because I believe software is a great entry point into getting into Bitcoin. Uh, it's, they're simple to use, uh, relatively secure, uh, more secure than you know like an online-based wallet. So you have better security than an online-based wallet, and you don't have the upfront cost that you would with a hardware-based wallet. And it kind of lets you get your feet wet with Bitcoin without having a huge upfront uh, investment on your part, and just kind of try it out and see how it kind of just learn a little bit. So that's why I think a software-based wallet is a good kind of entry point into the world of Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and jump to the screen and we'll start go ahead, start with this walkthrough on how to set up your Electrum wallet. All right, so to start things off, head over to electrum.org and click on the download tab. And next you're gonna do is click on the easy installation option for your platform of choice. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Windows installer. Of course, there is the OS X uh, option as well as the Android option and the Linux option too. Uh, it looks like it's done downloading. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the install file and let the application pass the UAC. I'm just gonna go ahead and install this to uh, root and go ahead and go through the installation process. Uh, so I'll go ahead and kind of skip forward a little bit as this kind of actually installs. All right, so the application has finished installing. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click the close button to proceed. And then I'm gonna go ahead and launch the application from my desktop. All right, so after you click on the application icon on your desktop or through your start menu, uh, you'll be brought to how to, you want to connect to the server. I'm just gonna go ahead with the auto connect option and then proceed from there. Uh, at this point in time, you can choose to save your wallet somewhere else uh, or create a wallet somewhere else. I'm just going to go ahead and keep it default wallet at the default location, but you could put that somewhere else. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use the standard wallet, but there are some other pretty cool options such as a multi-signature wallet, uh, which essentially requires you to have uh, two wallets that send out a transaction. Uh, kind of adds an extra level of security. Uh, it's a pretty cool option. If if people are interested, I might make a video kind of on setting that up and do it, do it uh, on two computers in unison to kind of walk you through that. Uh, it is slightly more complex, but it is a uh, kind of a little bit extra security, especially if uh, you're planning on storing a decent sum of Bitcoin in your wallet. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new seed. Uh, this is gonna be a completely test uh, setup. So for this point, uh, you would never want your wallet seed to be seen, but since I am making this as a complete test, uh, I don't care if someone sees this. Uh, if someone has your seed though, uh, it can allow you to recover your, this wallet. So this seed is something you're going to want to keep super secure. Uh, so don't just like write it on a piece of paper and uh, you know stick it on the side of your computer. Um, so you can see here that I have uh, the seed. So I'm going to go ahead and record that real quick. Um, and uh, proceed with this. I've proceeded to the next screen, and at this point in time, you're gonna actually have to retype in that password that you just recorded. The reason they do this is to ensure that you actually did record that and not just click next, uh, because if you do need to recover your wallet, uh, you will need this seed. 
So that is why it's so important to first, A, keep that seed super secure, and B, actually record that and keep that someplace safe, uh, such as a fire safe, or possibly even a safety deposit box, especially if you're storing a decent sum of Bitcoin and want to be able to recover your wallet, possibly in the future if you do for some reason lose that. So I'm just gonna retype uh, my seed that I got. And once again, I am showing this because this is just gonna be a test wallet. I'm not actually going to use this wallet, uh, but you would never want this to be seen. So make sure you do this in a, you know, as, as a non-public environment uh, because you never know who might be interested in Bitcoin and might uh, see your seed. So go ahead and proceed to this stage and type it back in and we'll join back up in a couple seconds. All right, so I've now confirmed my seed and now I'm ready to progress. Uh, at this point in time, you can progress without creating a password, but that would leave your wallet uh, unencrypted. So I do recommend going ahead and type a nice secure password uh, through whatever password manager or however you generate and retain your passwords. Uh, and enter that into this field to encrypt your wallet. After confirming your password, your Electron wallet will generate your addresses. And if you go over to the receive tab real quick, you'll see the receiving address. This is the address you can give out to somebody if you want to have them send you Bitcoin uh, for some reason or another. Uh, and you also have a QR code here if someone needs to send you Bitcoin through like a mobile device or something along those lines. Uh, you also have uh, the ability to send. And this is why a wallet like Electrum is so great is because you don't have to synchronize that entire blockchain. And now you're pretty much ready to start uh, sending and receiving uh, and you'll be able to be, you know, relatively quickly uh, see those transactions pop up into your wallet. Of course, I can't see anything right now because this wallet has, you know, zero uh, Bitcoin at this point in time. Uh, you also have a contact database so you can uh, create a address a list of people, you know, maybe friends that you regularly send Bitcoin to. Uh, or you know or something along those lines so you have you know a quick database you can quickly draw upon to uh, send and uh, send Bitcoin to uh, different people uh, you also have a history of transactions in relation to your account so that's pretty much all there is into creating an Electrum wallet it is a pretty simple process we did kind of uh, bypass a kind of somewhat more complicated uh, process which is creating a multi-signature wallet uh, which is a very cool concept. So if you are interested in that, leave a note in the comments below and I will make a video on that in the near future. Uh, but one thing I wanted to just reiterate on one last time is to make sure that you keep your seed and your password that you used to create your uh, Electrum wallet very both secure uh, so that other people can't have access to them, but also in a safe environment so that if the worst case happens, uh, worst, ca worst case scenario happens, uh, such as your house catches fire and you lose your computer, uh, that those are in a fire safe or something so you can recover your uh, you know bitcoin wallet in the future so uh, that's pretty much it for today's video guys i hope you liked it if you did give the video a big like and also consider subscribing also check out the links in the banner that rotates throughout this video as well as the links in the description below for different ways to chat and support thought-provoking tech and until next time zach out